Hi everyone! I'd like to thank you all for signing up to volunteer with one of our upcoming events. My name is Brie Lilly and I'm Honeycomb's Program Manager. I'm so excited to give a demo for these very special crafts. March is Women's History Month and we're honored to recognize groundbreaking female artists and the influence that their work has had on our society. This first craft is inspired by American artist Alma Thomas. Alma Woodsy Thomas was an expressionist painter and art educator, best known for the exuberant, colorful abstract paintings that she created after her retirement from a 35-year career teaching art at Washington, D.C.'s Shaw Junior High School. Her style included large, abstract paintings filled with dense patterns of bright colors that mimic a mosaic pattern. She created color field paintings in which the entire focus of the art is color and color theory. Alma Thomas is an important role model for women, African-American artists, and older artists as she was recognized for her paintings after her retirement from teaching. She was also the first African-American woman to have a solo exhibition of her work at New York's Whitney Museum of American Art. Resurrection, the painting we'll be using as an example, was even chosen by Michelle Obama to hang in the White House's old family dining room during Black History Month in 2015. The cards that we're about to make are great for showing love and gratitude to your neighbors, frontline workers, or a special teacher in Alma Thomas's honor. And you can make your cards even more personal by adding an uplifting message inside. Now let's get started. So for this project, you'll need a piece of white cardstock or note card, a squared off piece of cork, tempera paint, a pencil, a Q-tip, and a ruler, which is optional. You'll want to start by finding the center of your paper. I found that squaring off the sheet made it much easier. Then I measured down and across and put an X right in the middle. We're using the cork as our painting tool to replicate Thomas's unique texture style. Yellow will be the center. So first, I used a Q-tip to paint a circle right on my card. Then, take your squared off cork, dip it in the next color, and stamp a ring around the yellow dark dot. I got this dark teal color by mixing blue and green until it was the shade I wanted. I also worked on newspaper for an easy cleanup and poured my paints on it to mix and dip them more easily. So yellow and dark blue are on opposite sides of the color wheel, which makes them complementary. Why do you think that Alma Thomas decided to put these two colors together? She also makes the colors get lighter and brighter with each circle. What do you think this has to do with the title of the artwork, Resurrection? Eventually you'll get to the outer edges, which will keep stamping with the bright yellow, surrounding the whole mosaic in cheerful, sunny repetition. And this is my finished product. I used my own preferences for the colors going outwards, and I really liked the way it takes inspiration from Resurrection, but it's still new, unique to me. I really like the way it turned out. The next craft is inspired by the work of Mary Blair. Mary Blair was a concept artist at Walt Disney Studios, and she introduced modernism to the company. Her vibrant color styling and graphic composition defined the look of classic films like Cinderella. Underneath her deceptively simple design lay great complexity. Blair actually had very poor eyesight, but her sense of color is still studied around the world. Mary Blair threw color theory away and combined colors that were rarely used together at the time, like pink and orange or turquoise and olive green, a mocha sky with salmon colored mountains. Blair is credited with the color scheme for the internationally renowned It's a Small World Ride. Her unique, dreamy legacy of color can be found throughout the theme parks and in films like Peter Pan, Lady and the Tramp, and Alice in Wonderland. Blair's witty, childlike, and utterly charming style is clearly reflected in the sceneries of the ride in classic Disney movies. The buildings seem to be collages made of paper that comes in sets of colors and shapes, but the cutouts are lopsided. Domes and circles have egg-shaped profiles, and Arches are taller than they are wide and slightly unsteady on stork-like legs. Experiment with scale and balance in this craft and see what you come up with. So for this craft, you'll need cardstock, different size sticker labels, any two colors of tempera sticks, colored pencils, scissors, and a fine tip marker. 
I started by coloring my cardstock because I wanted my collage to be a night scene. Feel free to get creative with your supplies. I layered a dark blue sky with my tempera stick over my purple background. Remember that the colors don't always have to make sense. Create your art the way you want to. Then start to decorate your white stickers with color and pattern. I made my card Chicago themed, so I started by using rectangular stickers for the buildings and gave them some funky patterns and colors. Next, cut out shape details, archways, bridges, skinny lines, and towers. I tried to make some famous landmarks of the city. Here's the Smurfit Stone Building, the Navy Pier Ferris Wheel, and of course the Sears Tower and the Bean way down here. Keep building your scene one sticker at a time. Add in some colorful dots and unexpected color combinations. Then add any final details with colored pencils and trace some features with a fine tip marker if you want them to be more bold. I added a sleepy moon, some stars, and of course a pennant for the white socks for good luck. And this is my finished product. Once you're done, let your masterpieces dry and then write a nice message. Once mine are finished, I'm going to give this card to my mail carrier who walked my mail to my door after a blizzard when I got snowed in. I really appreciate her and I think she'll enjoy this card from my family. I'm going to give my color field card to one of my favorite teachers in Alma Thomas's honor. I think she'll really appreciate a cheerful homemade card in the mail from obviously her favorite student. The contributions of women have made the world a much more beautiful place. Make sure you tell a woman who makes your world more beautiful that you appreciate them this month and every month. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you back here next month for even more fun crafts.